Community gathers in Maine tonight to shoulder the grief over lives lost in the mass shootings at a bowling alley and a bar in Lewiston. It's only been 72 hours since the massacre and just 24 hours since the suspect was found dead from a self-inflicted wound. Good evening to you. Ken McLeod with you on this Saturday night. Families of the victims join survivors of the attack and many residents from that area for a vigil to both mourn and chart a course forward. WBZ's Brandon Truitt was there as the community leaned on each other. For some people, Saturday was the first time out of their home since these shootings happened. Police continue to process the scenes at the bowling alley and the bar as people come together for the first time to heal. At the scenes of such horror and evil come signs of hope, resilience, and faith. 18 crosses for 18 lives placed at the bowling alley and the bar. Bree Allard is a teacher in Lewiston and made the memorials. I said to my kids, let's make some posters for the victims, and I kept the list going. Um, one of the signs there has all the names of the victims, and I kept adding to it as we found out more information. One town over in Lisbon, hundreds coming together for a vigil Saturday night. They hugged and lit candles and prayed. The grief is just setting in. It's hard. A lot of people on Facebook are saying how hard it is. My daughter's 10 and she was very, very scared. She didn't want to come out of her room. She was staying away from windows. Uh, so yeah, basically just a giant sigh of relief. As the community mourns, investigators providing updates on how they found the suspect's body. He was here in the back of a trailer at the main recycling corporation in Lisbon been about a mile from where he ditched his car the night of the shootings. Card used to work here. State officials say they found him with two firearms. CBS News reporting he shot himself in the head. This area was cleared by investigators twice, but they didn't search the property across the street. The state question on how they missed it. I will, uh, you know, for the rest of my life be uh, you know, looking at this event and saying, could we done this different? Could we do that different? Investigators took in more than 800 tips. At least three of them came from the suspect's family. They were the first to call and identify him. A dozen search warrants were completed, one leading to a note in the suspect's home left for his son, containing Card's cell phone password and banking information. I wouldn't uh, describe it as a explicit suicide note, but the tone and tenor was that uh, the individual was not going to be around. While details trickle in, a wave of grief is consuming people here, hoping they can build back their community while remembering those they've lost. Maybe immediately you kind of feel a sense of relief, but, but there is still great sadness, you know, about the whole situation. 18 people died in these shootings. 13 others were wounded. Some of them are still in the hospital. People who live here tell me that they are eager to get life back on track, but they say they know it'll never really be the same. In Lewiston, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.